So it is really early. I'm not really really early, but. Earlier than I normally leave my house. like 11 something a.m. Um, I usually don't go for my walks this on this time of the day. It's the only reason I'm going because you know yeah, yesterday was the first day of summer so today it's, it's gonna start heating up to the 90s. So you know, like I mentioned I get heat, wa heat washes so I don't want to leave like around two, three o'clock, that's when it gets really hot. So I decided to just go away now. Um, maybe I'll go for another walk with my neighbor in the evening. Um, yesterday I did went with my neighbor, like I ate something, I ate something p.m. But this spring, this this past spring hasn't been really hot. Uh, I mean, the the spring that just went by, this hasn't it was, hasn't been as hot. Normally, where I live, it would been hot once March comes around. So I'm just walking around a towards a different street.
this is the same street I I got lost at a couple of times because I think I made a wrong turn somewhere. So I'm just sitting at, um, at um, my local elementary school. I just walked um, behind the school. Um, well, the, the neighborhood of behind the school. But, um, I I don't know. I just I don't really walk behind this neighborhood. Uh, my neighborhood, uh, where I live, is a couple of blocks away. But uh, yeah, I don't know why. Um, Every time I walk behind the behind the school neighborhood, I I always get confused and lost. Uh, one street. But I'm still tired because I woke up 
I just woke up like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago before I, before I came out from my walk, I, I slept, I slept late last night because I took a nap yesterday, uh, and that's what got me really tired, and uh, they're like, well, now I'm really tired, now, um, you know, I just woke up, so when I wake up late, I'm still tired. It's because I didn't, I, I didn't even, I don't think even, I even had like five hours of sleep last night. Had. But uh, I also want to talk about, you know, accepting um, anxiety, um, the symptoms and the sensations, you know, things like that. I I don't think I fully accepted um, how I feel, even though, you know, I've been leaving my house like for the last... 400 something days um what i mean is i i haven't fully accepted because i know there's still days that um it kind of gets to me you know but that's a lot better than before where every day my anxiety would get would get to me so that's what i mean by having fully accepted but you know i say i'm a lot better now than i was before, that's for sure. But um, I think the only way you can get better is like you know, learn to accept it. Um, this, I mean, sure there might be days um that you might, you might still feel like you haven't done much. Um, like for example, like myself, um, there was days that I, last year when I when I started my um data exposure um, back in May 1st 2017 there was days that I would go out um, I left my house every day but sometimes I only go for like five minutes and then I go home and I was like and then I start thinking to myself um, I only left for five minutes so it was like a it was good that I left for five minutes because it took me a long time to actually leave for five minutes and then it was bad because I kept thinking like oh how come I couldn't do six minutes or how come I couldn't walk across how can I how come I couldn't walk another block you know it was like the the negativity was still there even though I was doing even though um the positive thoughts was there by me leaving the house um but when I started the, leaving my house daily nonstop. Um, prior to that, I was actually leaving my house a couple of times uh, every few weeks or every uh, maybe like maybe once a month or something, you know, so I was still working on the depression part. You know, the part that says, oh, you could, you can only do five minutes or uh, you've been going the same street. How come you can't cross the street here and go any farther? You know, things like that. Uh, that's what sometimes it, it took me a while to get off the depression state of mind. That's why I think um, it will, that's why I couldn't like fully accept it yet, how I was feeling. I think to to accept this, like, you know, you're going to slowly recover. Um, I know I'm slowly recovering, but you're still going to have days where you're going to feel like, oh, you haven't done much. And when you feel like you haven't done much, then, you know, the the depression is going to slowly creep back up up on your uh, negative thoughts. And, you know, once that comes back around and then you're going to start thinking, um, Great, I haven't done much. Uh, oh, you're gonna start thinking. I have. A, I'm not gonna get better because I can only go for five minutes or ten minutes. You know things like that. And then sometimes when you go for like half an hour, an hour, and then you, then you go home. And then you can say, well, maybe I can do an hour today, but am I gonna be able to? leave my house um stay away from my house for like an hour you know it's like little things that 
you're going to start thinking negatively about yourself even though it, there's something you did something that you haven't done for the longest time you know when when i left my when i went to visit my um aunt and uncle's house and they live in they live about an hour away um, my dad drove i didn't drive but you know first before before I actually say yes, I'll leave, I had some negative thoughts about, like once my dad asked me if I wanted to go visit your aunt and uncle um, that you haven't seen for a few years, and then I said, in my mind, I was like, are you talking to me? Um, you know I can't, but I didn't say that. Um, then my, a few minutes later, I, I said to myself, like, He's asking you to go. He's not asking you, like, you know, do something that you think you can. And then my mom asked me, are you going? I said, yeah, let me eat first. And then I went. So it's like, so I, every time I left my house for like, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, um, every day, you know, when I started doing this nonstop exposure therapy, it did really help. You know, at first it might seem like, you're only going for like five minutes, ten minutes, you know. Um, you go, you feel like you keep walking around the same block, uh, random towns, you know, different weather, whether it's like nice and sunny, cold and rainy, or cold and snowing, you know. And then you're gonna say, but I keep walking around like you know, uh, the same neighborhood, or maybe I go a little bit farther each each time I feel like I can. But then you're gonna turn back one day, you're gonna will, and then you're gonna look back one day you know and then you go say oh my god I actually been leaving my house you know prior to that you might say something like myself like oh I'm never gonna leave my house again you know that's how I work that's how I was when I started um having you know, panic attacks. I start saying, "Oh, I'm never gonna leave my house anymore." You know, how I'm never gonna be able to do this. I'm never gonna be able to do that. And then, you know, how I'm gonna say, "I'm never able. To, I'm never gonna drive again." And driving was one thing that I like doing, especially when I have nothing to do. Sometimes I like, you know, driving up, driving up the um, the hills and things like that. And then. You know, I started driving again this past October. It took me over a year just to start getting drive, just to start driving again. It took me over a year just to start going back inside stores and you know going back in the mall and you know things like that. So when I look back at myself and then I said, you know, I keep thinking I would I would never do this again, but I did it. You know, so sometimes it might take it might take you. Um, couple of weeks, couple of months, a couple of years to realize that you got better. It's just that you keep looking for that negativity, that comfort from anxiety. You know, it, like for myself, it's like, oh, wow, I crossed this street. Um, anyone could do that. But then realize, you know, those suffers with a panic disorder, it's hard to just get off our bed you know the first thing to, the first step of recovery is not only to just leave your house especially if you're bedridden the first step is to spend less time on your bed you know and then the next step will be leaving your house so like each little step is it's a key to your recovery you know when i couldn't leave the only time i used to leave my bed was to use the bathroom um went to the kitchen and back to my bed you know, like I mentioned, I before I would only sit in my room to eat. I would use the bathroom, take a shower, brush my teeth, and go back to my bed and eat. And once I'm done eating, I rest for a little bit and go back to then go back to um laying down again. You know, so that's what created me to have more anxiety, more depression, and more fear to leave my house because my eyes didn't know what the outside world was. My feet didn't know what walking the outside where I started um, having a hard time getting off my bed. I started feeling weak because my body was always either laying down or sitting down. You know, I only stood, I would only stand up when I'm walking to the bathroom, to the kitchen, things like that. 
and there was time I didn't even walk to the kitchen. You know, so it's it's little steps that you have to do, and then you're gonna realize one day that you you got better. It's just that, like me, when I look back, I was like, you know, I did things that um, I would never have thought I was gonna do, like I mentioned, and all that. Going for walks is one thing, you know, going for a bike ride, driving again, you know, going on the freeway. Um, I'm not working at the moment, but like I said, I've been applying for jobs and that's my next thing. You know, where last year at this time, I was, I was um, still having, I was leaving my house, but I wasn't looking for a job. You know, I wouldn't, at that time, I was like, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to work here. I just need to leave my house. But right now I'm just enjoying, you know, doing what I'm doing. Even if I'm leaving my house for like 10 minutes, you know, I'm going to... I'm going to be happy with that if I only leave for 10 minutes. <laughs>